Okay, class. So we go to the exercise to enhance your understanding for the composite function. Okay, for the question number one, given that the function dx is equal to 2x and function mx equal to x minus 3. Okay, kalau soalan macam ni, awak kena uh, rewrite balik dia punya function tu dalam bentuk dx equal to 2x. And then mx ni, uh, awak rewrite balik jadi x minus 3. Okay, so we got our first question. So, what is D10? So, awak masukkan dulu value 10 dalam um, function ni. So, 2 times 10, so equal to 20. Okay, that one question number E. Okay, question number uh, B. MD10. So, what does it mean by MD10? So, this part, okay, kalau masih ingat this one, ialah dia punya inside eh. This one is the inside function. Okay. So, part inside dekat situ. Uh, so, you kena masukkan dulu. What is the value for D10? So, tadi kita dah calculate value for D10 is equal to. Um, is equal to this one. Tadi kan? Nah, ni. Dah ada dah. So, that is 20. So, awak akan masukkan value M 20 into function M. Okay. So, M is uh, X minus 3. So, that akan jadi 20 minus 3. So, equal to 7. D. That is the answer for B. Okay, next is M10. So, M10. So, kita masukkan dulu 10 minus 3. That is equal to 7. Okay, and then um, question D. DM10. So, DM10. This one is the inside function. Okay. So, DM10. So, M10 is equal to, tadi kita dah calculate, which is equal to 7. So, D7. Okay, D7. So, kita masukkan value uh, X equal to 7 ke dalam function D. So, 2 times 7, so equal to 40. Okay, that is question D. Next is question E. Okay, E is MD4. Okay, MD4. Okay, so MD4 here is, uh, tengok eh, so MD this one, D4 ini akan berada pada bahagian inside function. So, kena masukkan dulu lah what is D4. Okay, D4. So, D4 is uh, 2 times 4, which uh, so DX sama dengan uh, kuasa, uh, sorry, uh, function DX is equal to 2X. So, jadi X kat situ. Okay, kita akan gantikan dengan uh, 4. Okay, uh, gantikan dengan 4. Okay, so maknanya kat sini uh, ialah equal to 8. So, this mean uh, D4 is equal to 8. So, M8 here. So, M8. So, kita akan masukkan 8 ke dalam function M. Okay, function M is X minus 3. Okay, function X, M is X minus 3. So, bila kita masukkan 8 kat sini, kita gantikan dengan 8. X ni pun dia ganti dengan 8. So, dia akan jadi 8 minus 3 equal to 5. That is the answer. Okay. And then the last one is uh, DM4. Okay, DM4. So, means that here, M4 will be the inside function. This one is the inside function. So, you have to calculate what is the uh, M4. M4 is 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1. So, kita masukkan lah. This one, kita gantikan dengan 1. So, D1, uh, 2 times 1. So, equal to 2. Okay, what we can see here is uh, value untuk MD4 is not equal to value DM4. Uh, okay, sebab apa? Sebab dekat sini, kalau tengok uh, MD4 is equal to 5 and then uh, DM4 is equal to 2. Yes. Dia tak sama function MD dengan function DM. Sebab bila function MD maksud dia, D akan masuk ke dalam function M. Okay. This is the inside function. Okay. Kalau untuk DM, M, function M yang akan masuk ke dalam function D. So, M4 will be the inside function. Okay. That is the difference between uh, Function D, M and M, D. Okay. Uh, so, next question. Um, we go to question number two. 
Okay, saya akan tunjuk dua, dua contoh soalan lah eh. Okay, so we have Px is equal to x plus 6 and then Tx is equal to 3x. Okay, show that Tp5 is equal to 33. So, yang ni, maknanya awak kena tengoklah what is the inside function first. Okay, this one is the inside function. Okay, so Tp5 will be equal to T P5. So, this one is the inside function. So, maknanya kat sini awak kena cari what is P5. Okay. P5. So, awak masukkan ke dalam function this one. Gantikan X dengan 5. 5 plus 6 and then we will be equal to 11. So, dia akan jadi T11 here. Okay. So, T11 here. So, tengok T11. So, kita akan refer kepada function T. Jadi, maknanya kat sini dia akan kali dengan 11. 33. Okay. Gantikan. Ha. Words. Substitute. Okay. Bila X is 11. This one pun akan jadi 11. Okay. That is question um, uh, A. Uh, so, means that uh, it's shown that TP5 is equal to 33. So, that question as PT5. Okay. PT5. Okay. B. PT5. So, maksud dekat C. This one will be the inside function. Okay. So, T5. Okay, what is T5? Okay, so masuk kat sini lah. Gantikan. Okay. Uh, T5 is equal to 3 times 5. So, will be 15. So, kita ganti kat sini. 15. So, P15. P gantikan at jadi 15. So, akan dapat 15 plus 6. So, equal to 21. That is the answer for P. Okay, next is find an expression. So, bila nak cakap expression, maknanya you kena, uh, kita kena dapatkan uh, the function, okay. Uh, kita kena form the function. Nanti. Dan saya ajar sebelum ni lah. So, kita nak ialah TP. TP maksud dia P. Kita akan apply um, function T dulu. T, uh, sorry, function P dulu. P akan jadi dia punya inside. Okay, kalau saya lukis dia punya arrow diagram This one akan jadi X Okay and then kita apply function P So kita akan dapat uh, PX here PX will be the image for X And then uh, next is PX akan jadi objek untuk function T Okay so dekat sini dia akan jadi T P X Okay so daripada X kepada T this one ialah function tp x so nak kita nak cari function yang ni lah ah kita nak cari kita nak form this function okey so kita ambil balik tp x okey p itu akan berada dalam bahagian inside function okey and then px here is what is px kita ambil function px okey uh, px here is x plus 3 okey x plus, sorry, x plus 6. Kita gantikan function px. Okay, next is, we know that the function tx, tx is equal to 3x. So, bila awak letak dalam dia ialah x plus 1, okay, uh, sorry, x plus 6. So, this part akan jadi x plus 6 juga. Uh, dia akan kita gantikan dengan x plus 6, x plus 6. So, maksudnya kat sini, what happen here is 3 and then x plus 6. Uh, that can be 3x plus 18. That is the function for tpx. Okay. Uh, and then we go to ptx. Okay. Uh, kita terbalikkan pula. Last, uh, okay. The last one. Saya tunjuk last one. ptx. Okay. ptx. So macam mana nak calculate ptx? So, PTX here is TX, function TX akan jadi inside. Okay. So, sekarang ini kita ambil function TX. TX is 3X. Okay. Means that kat sini kita akan masukkan function 3X ke dalam function P. Okay. So, kita ada function P ialah PX is equal to X plus 6. Okay. So, bila gantikan kat sini dengan 3X. So, this part pun kena ganti jadi 3x. Okay. Ha. So, 
Jadinya berapa? Uh, 3x, 3x plus 6. The answer is 3x plus 6. Okay. Uh, kita tengok balik jawapan dia. Kat belakang ni ada jawapan dia. Kita boleh refer balik. Okay. Yes, 3x plus 6. Okay, so maksud dia kat sini. Function TPX. Kalau kita ini ialah function uh, TPX which is 3x plus 18. And this one is a function PTX. So, function PTX tak sama dengan function TPX. Okay. Uh, so, apa? Inside the line, outside line juga. Okay, that is all about uh, question number one, question two. I want you to answer question number three and then and question until question number five. And um, we will discuss question number three and question number five uh, next week, okay, for the class next week. Okay, that's all for exercise composite function.